back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Noble Collection items that I recommend. This is not me showing you my collection, although it kind of is. I'm not showing you my entire collection. I am telling you things that I highly recommend. Um, I get a lot of questions, believe it or not, of people asking, you know, I don't know what to get next in my collection. What do you recommend? I do get asked this question quite a lot. And I understand because I too have a list of things where I'm like, I'm unsure if I want them, you know, because you've got to save your pennies. You don't know, you know, that they're expensive, some of these items, and you want to make sure you're getting the right, the right one. And there is so many things that we want, but we can't have them all. And sometimes it's hard to pick what we want next. Now, these are not ranked in any way, shape or form. These are all things that I highly recommend. So if you want to hear what I recommend buying from Noble Collection, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Potter Puppet with us, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All my social medias are linked in the description of this video go see what I'm up to on those and guys I am trying my hardest to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers so I'd really appreciate you hitting that little red subscribe button for me and also I would like to give a massive thank you to my Patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know any more about Patreon that is also linked in the description of this video go check it out if you think it's for you then come join us well let's talk collectibles the first item we are going to talk about, it's going to seem like I've ranked this one um, as number one, but it's the Hufflepuff Cup. Now, this is £48 from Noble Collection. Please be aware, I have recently looked at prices on their website to make sure that I have got the prices right. Um, I highly... There's dust. That's grace. Um, I highly recommend this. Really, really do think this was worth the money. It is heavy. It is not plastic. That is not plastic. It is heavy. It's got a nice um, like felt bottom and it's obviously got the uh, Warner Brothers there down there. Um, to show it's licensed. But yeah, it's got that there so it doesn't scratch surfaces. It's got a little hole in the cup, if you can see. You can't drink from this, okay? Um, I'm guessing... I mean, it doesn't smell of anything but there'll be something on it, a coating of something that shouldn't be ingested not only that i think if you put liquids in here it might go a bit funny but this it's solid it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous replica let me show you so you've got the badger there for hufflepuff look look at it shine did you see that shine on there <gasps> beautiful but yeah it's it's so detailed and it's absolutely gorgeous I really highly recommend this. I know a lot of people have asked me about this item and I have said, yes, if this is on your list, get it because it is absolutely stunning. Look at it shine. Oh, look at it. But this is an item, when I walk past it, I stare at it for a bit before I carry on with my day. Is that weird? Basically, these items that I'm showing you are items that really wowed me when I bought them, but still wow me today, if that makes any sense. I mean, it is all personal preference, but when I'm talking about the quality of the items as well, um, that's not personal preference. Of uh, Well... It's not, is it? When you're talking about quality, this, I mean, this is really good quality. Nobody can, nobody can say otherwise because this is really good quality, okay? The next thing on my list that I want to show you that I highly recommend is the time turner. I have not packed this in properly. So it comes in this lovely display case. You're not supposed to see the chain dangling. If you look, let me take it out a minute. I'll show you the necklace in a minute. Oh my god, it's dusty. So if you look, there's a little pouch. I don't know what to call it. I can't think off the top of my head. That is where you slip the chain inside. So you've just got the time turner on display. But it is an absolutely gorgeous little display box. Keeps it really, really nice. Dust free, but the box gets dusty. Then we have two little hooks on the lid so you can hang the chain up to whatever length you desire. Let's take it off. I love this necklace. This necklace is £44. I don't know if I've just said that, but I'm telling you again. This necklace is stunning. This was one of the first things that I got, I think, maybe. I can't think now. But it is beautiful. It really is. I mean, it's fully, it, you know, fully, fully functional. It obviously doesn't work. I can't go back in time. But 
it looks like you could right it looks like you could i do get a lot of wear out of this i do wear this i eat stunning i haven't worn it for a while should i put it on let's put it on now let's put it on now so it's got it's one of them where it links through and it does stay it doesn't come i have worn this so many times i absolutely love this it's got it's gorgeous it really is look at that oh i love my time turner in fact i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video what i love about this time turner is it looks heavy because it's quite it's quite a thick chain not massively thick but it's quite big the time turner it's not it's incredibly light um i will say that i do like the time turner in the films because it's on a really long chain i do really 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 like that but i still this is an this is an item from noble collection that i walk past it's in its display case i walk past it and i, I look at it because i absolutely love this time turner and like i said i've worn it quite a few times i tend to wear it for best or if i'm literally not doing anything that could wreck it because i don't i don't want to break it i don't do housework in it and things like that in other words but um yeah this is definitely something i recommend if you have been thinking about getting it it's nice and light um i don't, I don't know it's, it's beautiful i really don't know what to say about it it's good quality and it's beautiful that's all i can really say about it and i do recommend it um i love my time turner the next noble collection item that i recommend is the golden egg necklace again i didn't put the chain in the back in that little slot not pouch but it's exactly the same case as the time turner case so i won't show you the case again again a little hook so you can hang your chain on now i had been looking at this for a while and i'd never seen it in the flesh um so i was a bit Mm, about getting it this is also 44 pound i tell you what really worried me i knew the egg opened but because it's so small because it's on a necklace i thought is it going to be that delicate that it's easy to break if you try and open it but i tell you now it is not it really i mean look at that it's absolutely gorgeous this necklace and i am so glad that i bought it again it's another item that i walk past on my daily routine of walking through the room that has my things in because these don't belong in here these belong in the office because i've got a display in there as well um it's not worth showing you because it's just a mess basically but things are underway it's fine <clears throat> but this is something else that i walk past and i look at it and i'm like wow i mean these they're they're on proper hinges i don't know if you can see they're on proper hinges they're not obviously it has some delicacy to it. it is it is delicate but it's not that delicate not like what i thought and you just twist it back the only thing i would say is if you i have wore this it's really comfortable to wear i'm not gonna put it on as well because i want the time turner i'm not switching and changing the clasp is uh where is it there it is so it's one of those one of those undo it um i have wore it it's comfortable to wear i really love it the only thing yeah the only thing i'd say is if you are wearing it make sure that that is closed because obviously if it does pop open when it's closed there is no chance of it opening by itself it won't turn by itself because it's not massively stiff but you you have to turn it you have to turn it yourself with your fingers you have to turn it and the same obviously for closing it i can't close it now there we go um but yeah just make sure it's fully closed because obviously if you do snag one of them little shell bits of the egg they're gonna come off if you snag it hard enough because like i said it's not that delicate but you could break it but this is something i mean let's show you the detail on it focus there we go so the detail on it is exactly like the obviously the big golden egg and considering obviously this egg is so small it's cool that they've been able to get that same detail on it so yeah this is an item that i do recommend and i i think no i haven't worn it more than my time turner because i've had the time turner a lot longer but it is something that has had a lot of wear to be fair i haven't worn a lot of my my jewelry from noble collection just purely because 
we can't do anything we can't go anywhere so i haven't that's why i haven't worn it but it yeah if it's on your list i recommend this egg 100 percent the next Nova Collection item, I do get a lot of wear out of this. I absolutely love it. The Deathly Hallows necklace, the one that Xenophilius wears, the replica of Xenophilius's. Xenophilius's, I love his name. Xenophilius's Love Goods necklace. I absolutely love this. And as you can see, the case is different with this. We have obviously a triangle going on here for the Deathly Hallows, obviously. And then we've got some little markings down the side. The lid comes off like this. The Deathly Hallows necklace, there's a little clip, so you slot that in there and the chain fits in a little ridge there. But let me show you this necklace. Obviously, you'll know it from when you've seen it in the films. It's so gorgeous, this necklace. It's £40. I don't know if I've already said that. I'm getting so mixed up now. But just in case, it's £40, this one. The length is insane. You don't have to undo it. Look, just go straight over there. It's so long and it just, look, you can't even see it now. It's that long. I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the video. I love this necklace so much. Honestly, I mean, some people obviously, oh my gosh, I've got my hair trapped in it now. Um, Some people don't wear them. They don't wear them, obviously, because they just have them as display pieces. But I do wear them. Um, This is one that I have worn a lot. But again, not recently because we can't do anything. But the quality of it is, it's perfect. What I like about the bigger chains on these necklaces is that they're not thin chains break easy. Um, um, this, it's, yeah, it's quite durable. Same with the Time Turner and the Golden Egg Necklace. This chain is durable. And even inside the Deathly Hallows, it may. I honestly, because I remember I bought this necklace and the golden egg necklace together and I did an unboxing of them on here on the channel and I said in that video that I'd never seen the golden egg necklace in the flesh but I just, I wanted it. I really, really wanted it and I was so impressed with it and I was so impressed with this. I really, really was. It's absolutely stunning. For this next bit that I'm going to show you, I've had to move across the room. Let me explain why. So this is the next item I wanted to show you. This obviously is the Philosopher's Stone. It does do my head in a little bit that it says the Sorcerer's Stone. Because obviously with me living in the UK, we've always known it as the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I highly recommend this. I'll tell you why I haven't touched it is because I don't pick this thing up. I honestly don't pick this thing up because... It is very delicate, it is very, very delicate, but it's gorgeous. Now, this is £85. I got this for my birthday last year. I'll just move Matt's wand out of the way. So, as you can see, the stone itself screws, those screws on either side, they screw in and out so that you can get the Philosopher's Stone in place where you want it, and then you screw both sides. It is fiddly. Some people can do it straight away. Some people, not so much. I was one of those that struggled. <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at it. It's such a beautiful stone, but I just don't touch it. I really, really don't touch it. I abs Even when I'm dusting it, I sort of dab the duster on top because I just don't touch it. My nifflers are there protecting it. Hey, guys. But yeah, the Philosopher's Stone is definitely something I recommend if you've been looking at it. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. I mean, like I said, yes, I don't touch it. It is delicate. It feels like that stone could go with one movement sometimes. <laughs> but it is just a display piece. And as long as it's out of the way of children, I mean, my kids do not come in this bedroom anyway. Um, but my kids are older anyway. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. Jamie might. But with it literally purely just being a display piece, not like obviously the necklaces I've shown you where I wear them. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. Look at it. I love it. I highly recommend you getting it if you want it. Something else that I recommend that I have bought quite recently. I think I got it last year, last summer. It was around, I got it with my birthday money. It was before... I can't remember. Anyway, so Hermione's bag. Now, I love this. I had been keeping, I'd had my eye on it for quite some time. Again, it was something else I hadn't seen in the flesh. I'd never held it before. 
but I bought this when we went to the shop that must not be named in York down the shambles I'm sure I bought it I did buy it from there I'm sure I did but um I do highly recommend this bag I mean it's got a lovely tassel at the bottom here it just it's Hermione's bag it's just gorgeous even the long bits I'll show you the actual bag in a second even the long bits look they've got these lovely little patterned knobbly bits at the end love it and let me tell you now i have used this bag only once uh when things were lifted we went to a restaurant it seems <laughs> my god i went to a restaurant once last year that's insane and i haven't been to one obviously this year um but i did take this with me so look look it's amazing it's absolutely amazing this is 45 pound but I highly recommend it. And it's usable, guys. It was really comfortable to wear. It held my money, my phone. What else did it hold? Keys. You know, and it still had plenty of rip. I recommend this bag. It's usable if you want to, but it is also a great display piece. I mean, we do have this displayed in here. Um, but it's something that I will wear again out. Not out, out. Because silly drunken people could snag it and rip it but meal out nice out not out out but the quality is so lovely i mean again inside it's all like a it's just really nice it's just a really nice material and it protects your things if you do want to use it but again it's just a lovely display piece if that's all you want from it i do think this is worth the money though i really really enjoy this bag the next thing we're going to talk about that I recommend is the character ones. I am not going to show you all the ones because we'll be here all day. Not that I have that many, but I do have quite a few. Um, if you want to see my ones, I will link the video up there. Go check it out. Um, I've got some really nice ones. Uh, but yeah, I'll put that video up there if you want to see my one collection. But let's talk about the ones. They are very nice quality. They have a metal rod going through them, so obviously they're not easily breakable but they are great display pieces i don't they're not toys they're not toys because they can still break um but they are good you could use it for cosplay definitely you could use there may be a couple of ones like um dumbledore's first one is it that one i, I haven't got it i really want it but it looks very delicate because that won't have the metal rod going in it um because of how it's shaped but it, it's gorgeous it, but it must be very delicate i have heard sorry as well that it is quite delicate um i definitely want that in the collection though but i do love their ones they're beautiful they are definite replicas do you know what i mean they are just like the characters ones um yeah i don't really know what else to say they they're worth they're around 30 pound and um, prices differ depending on the box that you get it in um, but if you go on, I will link the website anyway, go check, you know, go have a look on the website yourself and you can see everything that I've spoke about plus more. But we all love a good wand and I do recommend so many of their wands. Every wand that I have got from them, I recommend. There is nothing wrong with them. They, they're very well made. They're very well painted up. I really love Noble Collection ones. Now, I do have all the items in my collection. Obviously, I have quite a lot that I have not shown you. It's not that I don't like them and not necessarily that I don't recommend them. Um, but it's like, we've got the Horcrux ring, for instance. I love it. It's worth it, but it doesn't wow me. I am doing this list for people that really don't know what to get next in their collection so i'm talking about the things that really wowed me and they still wow me when i walk past them i love marvel ogaunt's ring <coughs> but it doesn't wow me it's just i wanted it in my collection i've got it in my collection now we're going to talk about the slytherin locket this is not in the collection it's in a black case um, same as the time turner and the golden egg but obviously they are in brown cases this is a black case it's dusty oh seriously you're so bad um it, it doesn't have any markings on either on the lid like the other two do but it is a lovely black case now this is not it's this is personal preference this one but it's not in there because the chain feels plasticky 
Now the Slytherin locket is £38. There is another one you can get where it's the fake one and it has the little letter from RAB in it. I haven't got that one and I do want that in the collection. But this all feels very plastic. Now for £38, I think that's quite bad. Again, my it's my opinion, but it fit, I don't even know if it is plastic. I, I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Inside, we've got some green velvet in there. Now, I have a fake one. I don't know where I've put that. Um, and it is actually metal. Um, I have two fake ones, actually. Um, I recently got one out of a Geek Gear box um, the other day from March's box. Um, and I did have one. Uh, it, I, I just got it for cosplay. But, oh, I mean, the only thing I will say between the fake ones and the real one... The real one from Noble Collection is absolutely, the, the patterns on these are stunning and they're very spot on. And I really like them. They're not as good on the fake versions. But the fake versions are metal. <laughs> and it really bugs me and bothers me. It doesn't, when things are plastic, when it comes to, especially jewellery, it cheapens the look of it. And I paid £38 for this and it I swear it's plastic. It is plastic. That is definitely plastic. These bits, I think even that's plastic or a resin maybe for that. But it just has that plastic feel to it. And I was quite disappointed with it. Um, but I love it because it's in the collection and it's something else I have. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit disappointed with this. But I do have other things. I have the crystal goblet that Dumbledore drinks from in that cave when they go for the Slytherin locket. Um, I can't think off the top of my head. I do have some, but I wanted to show you the things that really wowed me when I got them. Um, and still, I love them today so much. Like when I walk past, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I've got that in the collection. Like I really, really am so excited for it. Still excited for it to be in my collection. Next, I'm going to talk about two items that I haven't got that I do want, so I do recommend. The first one is the Ravenclaw diadem. I, I'm a Ravenclaw, why I, ever, why I haven't got it, I don't know. But I still need the Ravenclaw diadem. Um, you're probably thinking, how can you recommend it, Susie, if you haven't even got it? I have held this thing, okay? Um, obviously, I, I was gonna say was a photographer. I am a photographer, and I photographed a Harry Potter wedding, Harry Potter themed wedding. Um, obviously not last year, it would have been the year before. And um, one of their centerpieces was the Ravenclaw diadem. I got to dress up that day, by the way. I was full, fully Ravenclaw robed, shirt, tie, everything. They wanted me to dress up. Uh, all the guests had to, if they didn't know, find out what their house was. If you didn't know, obviously, they had to wear the colour of their house. Um, the, the the meal, I was at the meal. I got to sit and eat. They they were so lovely, bless them. And it was all done like the great, oh, it was amazing. The great, oh, no, God. Oh, I loved it, Steph. If you're watching, I loved your wedding. It was the best day ever. I mean, I photographed 25 weddings all together. That was just my favourite wedding. And I did some beautiful weddings, photographed some beautiful weddings. But anyway, so the Ravenclaw diadem was one of their centrepieces. And Steph let me hold it. I wore it and nearly ran off with it. No, I'm joking. Um, I highly recommend that so much. Now, it is £130, which is obviously why some people might think that's a lot of money. What if I don't like it? But it is very good quality. It does have some weight to it. I tell you now, it definitely has some weight to it because originally, for instance, Steph, the bride of that wedding, was she wanted to wear it, but she couldn't because it was too heavy. I mean, I put it on my head, but I couldn't wear it all day. No way. It's definitely got some weight to it. It's beautiful. It sparkles. It's it's stunning and i do really want that in my collection so it is something that i recommend saving up for definitely and the other thing that i haven't got right i haven't seen this in the flesh but i want it so bad and i have heard so many good things about it slughorn's hourglass now slughorn's hourglass is 135 pound um I have seen that thing so many times. I've seen it in people's videos. I have heard people talk about it. I have seen it in a shop behind glass and it is stunning. It's a beautiful size. I'd say it's about that big. Is it about that big? But I definitely think it's worth the money. Um, but for instance, like the Ravenclaw diadem, 
and Slugons Hourglass, you know, £130 for the diadem, £135 for the, the hourglass. So they are things that I will save up for separately, gradually over time. Do you know what I mean? But those two things are definitely going to be in my collection, our collection, sorry babe. But um, yeah, the only thing I've heard about the Slugon Hourglass is that it is delicate. It is delicate. But again, the Philosopher's Stone is delicate. Honestly, I walk past that and I'm like, I can't believe that's in my collection. I absolutely love it. And I know I'd be the same with Sogorn's Hourglass because, like I said, I've seen it. I've seen it so many times in videos. I have seen it in the flesh. Well, I have, haven't I, actually, if I've seen it in a shop behind glass. Uh, I've not held it, though. I've not held it. I don't know what the weight's like on it. Obviously, if, if it's delicate in areas, I'm assuming it is maybe quite light. I don't know. I don't know. But, um... I suppose I can't recommend it as such because I haven't held it or felt it or spent time with it. So I know the quality. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I have heard good things about it. And I trust these good things because I've heard so many good things. So yes, yeah, Slugorn Sourglass is definitely, definitely, definitely at the top of my list. I think it's one of the next things I want to save up for. And just before I go, guys, there are three more things I want to talk about. And they are things that I'm really unsure about getting in the collection. The first thing that I'm really unsure, unsure in purchasing is Dumbledore's Cup. Now, Dumbledore's Cup is £90 and it looks beautiful. I've seen so many pictures of it. It is, it is stunning. I love it. But it's plastic. It's plastic. I've heard it's plastic. And it's £90. I can't justify paying £90 for something that's plastic. Um, I don't know if it's light or if it's heavy. That, this is what I mean. I'm unsure. I think it's going to be one of them cases where I'm going to have to see it and hold it to make my mind up completely whether I want it or not. Obviously, it would be nice to have it in the collection anyway. But um, I don't know. For £90, I don't know. I'm just really unsure about that one. The next one that I'm unsure about is the Prophecy Orb. Now, the Prophecy Orb is £31, which isn't too bad. That's that's quite a low end for Noble Collection of price. But what really bugs me with that orb is the black base. I really hate that. I hate the black base. Why is there a black base at the bottom? I don't like it. For me, I mean, it is personal preference that um it just ruins it that black base ruins it if that black base wasn't there i'd snatch that prophecy orb i absolutely love the prophecy orb but i don't like the black pa black base and i don't think it looks like it would be easily removed you can't remove if you can remove it tell me someone tell me please please i'm begging you tell me what i want to hear that it is removable and the last thing that i'm unsure about is the golden egg it's 70 pound it's not that I don't think it's worth the money. It's a very good size. It is a replica, proper replica size of the actual golden egg. But it doesn't open. It doesn't open, guys. The golden egg is something that I have seen quite a few times now. I've seen it in the flesh and it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and I do really, really like it. But it does put me off that it doesn't open. But now that I've done my your ball area... It's missing the golden egg and I kind of want it in there and I am warm into the idea of getting it but I have been really unsure on the golden egg. Like I said the actual egg itself is gorgeous. It really is. It just puts me off so much that it doesn't open because it would do you know what it would be nice if you could open that egg and it lights up. Oh it would just look amazing if it just lit up. Oh it would. It really would. Noble Collection, we need to make another golden egg that opens and it needs to light up. Maybe do some that don't light up if people don't want that because we need it so that when the egg opens, it doesn't have a switch. When it opens, it's like a fridge door. When a fridge door opens, like... I lied, there is one more item that I want to talk about, guys, and that's Bellatrix's dagger. The only reason why this hasn't actually been in the video, even though it is in the video now, if that made no sense whatsoever, is because these... I do believe are discontinued. I don't know if they're harder to get now. I got this last year. I haven't got a clue if it's harder to get now than it was when I got it. But I know that it was discontinued. I'm sure it's discontinued. 
but if you can get hold of one i do recommend it i do i, I should have put this in the video well it is in the video susie shut up anyway bellatrix's dagger it's 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 beautiful i mean the case is gorgeous it's just plain black plain black case and then obviously the bit there to prove it's real licensed whatever you want to call it but the red velvet i mean that is just beautiful it makes it look very posh and the dagger itself i always struggle um, i always struggle getting it out of here oh there we go there we go let's have a look at the dagger so this is the dagger it's beautiful it's so heavy but let me tell you now it's not sharp it's not sharp i mean hitting somebody hard enough with it you could do some damage but it's not it's not sharp it really look it's it's just not sharp but um no no sharp Ow. okay <laughs> project myself a bit hard there but i do recommend this i can't remember how much this was I can't remember because like I said this wasn't originally meant to be in the video so I didn't look up the price but it won't be on Noble Collection will it if it's discontinued try and find one guys try and find one because it's if you can get hold of it I recommend it there is something else that I want as well I really want Dumbledore's knife that is discontinued I know that's discontinued but I do really really want that um I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get hold of one, unfortunately. But I will keep my eyes peeled. But yeah, that's another one that I want. But yeah, I think I've covered everything. So they are the things that I recommend. It's an item that I was disappointed with. Um, it is personal preference. If you don't mind the look of that, maybe see the Slytherin locket before purchasing. Obviously, if you can look at everything, just be, don't take my word for it. It, it. it kind of does boil down to personal preference at the end of the day because you know i might not think think something's not good quality but you might think you could justify paying it for instance it's like dumbledore's cup i need to see that in the flesh to know whether i want it because i've heard it's plastic and it's 90 pound right now i recently bought this from the warner brothers gift shop okay it lights up and everything look it's so cool it sits on my yule ball shelf i know it's so beautiful now i wasn't i knew it was plastic and i didn't know if i wanted to buy it or not but this thing is only about 14 pound 14 not 40 14 one four pounds 14 pounds and i thought you know it's only 14 pound but do you know what it was such a good purchase because i mean look at the size of it it's the size of my head and it lights up beautifully um, it is plastic, it is plastic, but it's only £14. It does have a weight to it though, I'll give it that. It's not like a cheap plastic. Um, but yeah, I do really like that and I do recommend, I know it's not Noble Collection, it's Warner Brothers, but I do recommend it if you can get your hands on one because for the price I thought that was brilliant. But for £90 for Dumbledore's Cup and it being plastic, I really don't know. It's going to, I think next time I can get to a shop, I'm going to hold one and I'm going to make my mind up. Not that I'd be able to buy it because I don't have £90, but at least I can make my mind up and it can either go on the list or stay off the list. Do you have any items in your collection that I haven't mentioned that you think are worth getting? Do you have any items that I've reeled off that you think no Susie actually I don't recommend it let me know in the comments let's have an atta because it would be great for people to see your opinions too in the comments to help make people's minds up because like I said I get asked a lot what do you recommend me getting next out of and they'll give me like three or four items and it's like I, I give them my opinion and what I do highly recommend if I've got them in my you know just going off what I have in my collection if they've reeled any of them off that they're wanting and I've been meaning to do this video for a while so I'm really glad I did it I hope it was informative guys I don't know how long this video is going to be because I have literally rambled but I do love my noble collection items and I was really really excited about doing this video but I've done it now but yeah let me know in the comments guys what you think Talk to me about your collection because it's what it's all about. We love our collections, isn't it? Well, we love Harry Potter, but we love collecting because it makes our house feel magical. But that is the end of today's video, guys, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Puppets.